Hey, take off, eh? Today we're covering some Getty Lee bass tones, just like this. Alright, for today's demo, I'm going to be playing this 1980 original Rickenbacker bass. I've got the pickup selector in the middle, so we're actually playing both pickups here. I've got the pots basically all the way up to get that nice full Getty Lee bass tone. Let's open up the garage band. And here you can see I've been messing around with quite a few signature tones. I've done a couple trials with some different tones tailored towards Getty's tone, but I'm finally settling on this version 5 that I have. So I'll share that with you right now. All right, so I'll show you the amp that I selected here. So here we are with the uh, stock garage band bass amplifiers here. I chose this, you know, it's like an Ampeg type bass amp. So I've got the bright selection to the left here. Toggles on selection one. Gain is almost about one o'clock. And here you can see your EQ settings, got it on. Uh, Bass is at about two o'clock, mids a little past three o'clock. Trouble is uh, about 2.30. Got the compressor on. This is a little shy of 12 o'clock and you got your gain a little past two o'clock. Keep your master right in the middle here. We've got the hard clipping going on for the compressor. For these EQ settings here, I've got the low to the left. This is set on selection two. High is to the left here. For the uh, top equalizer section here, type selector, this toggle is up and the pre is on. And here is the uh, EQ fader setting here. Back in the 70s and early 80s, he was playing a lot of Rickenbacker bass with these Ampeg style basses. So once again, always, uh, you know, this. Ampeg style isn't going to get you exactly Getty's tone here. This is just using some of the stock settings that we have at our disposal with GarageBand. Uh, so down here you can see this is uh, I chose the this classic amp here. Got the classic cabinet 8x10 between the amp and the direct box setting. I've got this fader uh, over to the right about midway. And then for the microphone, you want to choose the dynamic. 421. Here's the mic placement location. So it's about in the middle of this grid and then it's it's all the way out from the cone. Um, I find that to get your EQ setting, um, you know, he has quite a bit of mids pumped up here and you're going to, you want to get a little bit of uh, bass distortion or a little bit of overdrive. I, it's not like I'm using an overdrive pedal. So the, the things that will have the major effect on this tone is your microphone selection and the placement uh, and the CQ setting. Next, down with uh, some of the plugins here. I've got it going into this compressor. So I just uh, adjusted the settings until I, I liked how it sounded and then I named it the Getty Comp 1 uh, patch here. Compressor threshold is minus 10 dB. Ratio is uh, 4.2 to 1. The attack is 10 milliseconds and the gain is negative 2 dB. Got that running into the bass amp and then I've got a slight bit of chorus on here. You don't need the chorus, you could take that off. You know, Getty probably has uh, a little bit of chorus uh, from, from depending on what song you're trying to play. Mix is 10%, intensity 14%, rate is 0.73 hertz. And then finally, the channel EQ. Um, once again, I adjusted the uh, settings here, and this is the patch I called it Getty EQ1. Um, so we've got kind of a low pass here going, uh, starts at about, here, here's the, uh, the 80 hertz setting. I've got that brought up a little over 5 dB. Bring out some of the, uh, the lower mid frequencies here. This is about, you know, 700. Got a slight dip there. Didn't really mess around with the top end. This Rickenbacker really gives uh, full range. And uh, if you have this, this is going to really go to your advantage. And of course, trying to play Getty Lee's tone. If you check out some of my previous videos, I did a full cover of Circumstances. These are the settings that I used to record the bass cover for that tune. Here's what it sounded like. <laughs>
All right, so there you go. Those are my basic settings for the Getty Lee Tone using GarageBand. If you like this video and you found it helpful, go ahead and smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel for all my future tone demos.